My photographer eyes now that I've grown those. What a find. Now the sun has come out. Ah, the cloud just ate the light. Now I've, oh, hang on a second, look at this. This is insane. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let's hope that that works and it's opened up a whole new realm of possibilities. I might have one or two to look at. Probably. And look at the power on those waves. I asked for a lick of light, and as you can see on my face, and I've never felt this before. <laughs> this is stunning. Here comes the light. Oh, look at this wave. Have a look at that. Look at the size of this is going to come in. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. so I keep going. One of the things I love most about landscape photography is that it gets you out and about and you explore new locations. And today I'm in pastures completely new and I went on a journey not knowing what was going to be ahead. I had high hopes but those hopes were increased as the time went on. I love good wave action, I love the coast of Ireland and I hope you love to join me on this week's episode. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to an area that I have never been to before, so which means I've never brought you to before. As you can see behind me here, the van is parked up. I'm in a very, very remote part of Kerry. And it's a place that I used to come to when I was a teenager. Um, it's close to a place called Ballyhigh. And I went to Ballyhigh today because I wanted to see what it was looking like through my photographer eyes now that I've grown those um, and the position of it actually is uh, over here is the Dingle Peninsula. I'll give you a look there, closer look at it but um, now what I'm looking for and the reason I've come down this rather sketchy road so hang on I'll give you a look at the type of surface that I had to drive through so you can see this here and then it dips down um, so rather sketchy road but it is a road so that's okay i was met by a farmer along the way who was bringing all of his cows in for the evening so he apologized for my delay so obviously people come down here but i've never been here and what i'm looking for is a kind of a jutting out part of a headland so i had a look on google maps and it looks pretty interesting and with the sun here behind me hopefully it will be a nice uh, sunset so that's hopefully what i'm looking for Let's see how we get on with it now. I'll give you a look once I reach that location. What a find. Look at this place. Look at the waves. And maybe I'm blocking, I don't know, but look at these as they're coming in here. And the tide now as well is coming in. So they're going to get bigger and they're going to sweep up these rocks and then cascade back down them again. This is incredible. And where I'm at now is kind of a jutting out piece. Effectively, I'm on the left hand side of it. And to the right hand side as well, there's equally an impressive view. You've got a stack, well, not a tall stack, but a linear stack but with these waves coming in and with the high tide I know it's going to be phenomenal. Now the main thing I'm looking for here is off out in this direction is where the sun is going to set and if the forecast is right it's going to be relatively clear so hopefully I'll get a golden glow. Hopefully I'm crossing my fingers and my toes anyway for it but I'm going to get the camera set up here and I'm going to get a couple of test shots anyway and I'll talk you through once I find my composition. What a spot! This place is incredible. And now, just as I talk here, here comes the light. So 
What I'm hopeful for is that I can get a nice burst of light that lights up these cliffs. Now if it's the golden light coming close to sunset then I'll be even happier. And over further up here, so this is west, so more northwest actually, uh, and looking at the forecast as well, it was gaps in the clouds and I can see gaps in the clouds as well. So hopefully they'll roll in in time for sunset. But as you can see here below me where the water is crashing on these, it is absolutely incredible. So I've taken a kind of a quick composition shot anyway there. I just shot it as a regular speed, nothing really uh, to play with the motion of the water. I'll give you a look at that next and then I'll check in after I introduce my filters and I'll tell you what type of exposure time I'm getting then. But yeah, <laughs> this is stunning. Ah, the cloud just at the light, but there's another gap below it. So yeah, again, fingers are still crossed, but look at this. Okay, here's the next one now. Here's the first one, I should say. Now that I've nailed in my composition, and what I really like about it actually is below me here, I've got these rocks as you probably saw in the test shots here, and they're really helping to frame the shot. The waves that are coming in are absolutely stunning. So I've put on my polarizer, and I've also then as well put on my uh, three stop equivalent, and I'm at F11, and I'm going at the moment for one quarter of a second, I think, yeah one quarter of a second and normally I am preferring to go for half a second but with the movement in these waves half a second is losing the texture whereas a quarter of a second is really keeping the texture and as you see like this when some of them come in and they break as well it's better to have a small bit faster than the, the half a second in reality because what ends up happening is it becomes smoothed out and comes into mush but you can see now the way the waves are coming in which is increasing on the tide and then hopefully that gap behind here is where I get the light that comes through. Also, if you look at the color of the water here, it is absolutely stunning. Look at that. So that is really going to come out, I think, in the shots as well. So yeah, F11, ISO 100, quarter of a second. I've rattled off, I don't know how many shots as a wave will come through. I might have one or two to look at, probably. Uh, I'll give you a look at those now, and then hopefully we'll check back in again once it's light arrives, and then it completely changes the scene. But yeah, this, is fantastic this is why i love seascape and this is why i love exploring here's the shots I've, oh, hang on a second, look at this. Oh, 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 so yeah, I've come further on down here now and changed my composition perspective because I can see back into a cove over here behind me and it's nice with the dark rocks, the way the white of the waves are contrasting against that. And now the sun has come out and look at these waves. These waves are getting bigger and bigger and this is incredible. Now I'm playing around as well because the sun was out there. I didn't exactly get um, a clear bit of sun so it's gone through a bit of haze but I tried to see if I can get a bit of a sun star on the top right hand corner of the image. So I've changed out to F16 be the ideal one to get the um, flares in the sun but then I adjusted then to keep myself at around about a quarter maybe a, th a third of a second is what it's going to at the moment um, and I changed my ISO from 100 to 200 to do that when I moved up to f16 but this is insane now with the light as well there I definitely think there's going to be oh I definitely think there's going to be a difference in the shots because I got a lick of light so it'll definitely be brighter bouncing off those cliffs and yeah I'll give you a look at a couple of shots anyway here before the light and then when I got that brief aspect of the light. Now, looking at the horizon here, you can see that there's a gap um, right below that bank of clouds. So, 
let's hope that that works because if it does and we get that glow on these rocks it's going to be insane look at these waves look at the detail on these and look at the power on those waves oh ho, ho. this is incredible and i haven't even thought about going to the other side just yet for that singular stack i don't even know if i will or not because this here is just so beautiful here's the next shots amazing I've moved further on down again and it's opened up a whole new realm of possibilities this oh look at this wave have a look at that look at the size of this is going to come in look at that oh ho, ho. so i keep getting distracted by the waves actually yeah that's one problem with this type of photography is you take a hell of a lot of shots because you think every all oh, that went so high you think every single wave is going to be different and it is every single wave is going to be different and you just keep rattling off shots anyway back to what I was saying this place is incredible because the further on down I've gone the more as well now that I can see the cliff that's just below me here and behind me as well these rocks are incredible I'll give you a look at seven piece of footage of them the shapes on these rocks are stunning and now with the bits of color as well I think it looks really nice now on the horizon as well here I am still hopeful that there is that bit of a gap I'm not going to get clear sun I don't think but if I get enough to give this a lick of light I think it will be stunning because below me down here if they all light up as well it's going to be incredible now I'm still trying to stick at the quarter of a second um, and I'm taking off my polarizer now because I don't need it because there's no real light there and I think these shots as well are stunning I love the way the water is cascading over the rocks below me and the detail as well as they're rolling in I've managed to capture some of those as well also so we're not that far away from the Sun dipping into that gap that's there so I'm really still hopeful that it happens there's some monster waves coming in here here's the shots that I have and hopefully you'll see me when the light comes it is beautiful look at it but I wait to see if we get any details on the light and yeah here's the new composition now that I've got here which I think I really like Right, so I asked for a lick of light and as you can see on my face I'm getting a lick of light and it looks fantastic now I have to watch these waves because there's some really big waves coming in and obviously talk to you as well because I want you to see that light and how it's feeling and hitting on me and on the uh, rocks below but as these waves are coming through I'm just waiting and watching and waiting and watching and catching them as they're curling you can see here below curling in like this and then start taking my shots I'm on high speed continuous and then some of them are breaking quite large and ferociously other ones here you can see into the back of the wave as well which looks phenomenal so they seem to be coming in bursts as well uh, some are bigger than others and it's oh look, look at that now I'm about to see right into that wave 
and now as it breaks as well these are stunning setting still i'm at quarter of a second here on this location but now once the sun retreats in behind those clouds i think i'm pretty much done for direct light so what i am going to do is then is head back up here next back up to pretty much where i was and then see what it looks like there if i can get a bit of color in that sky so right now i don't think i'm getting any color because even when i'm composing the shots it's quite tight and actually that's an interesting one i'm at 16 mil and ideally i should be probably at around 10 mil to be able to capture this entire scene in and get these rocks below me as well in and another thing is and i've never felt this before so as big waves come in and i'm holding the tripod i can feel shutters coming up through the rocks so these waves there must be a blowhole or something underneath and the water's crashing in there as well which i've never felt before but i'm perfectly fine in here because there's more rocks below me so there's no fear of me falling in or it collapsing but yeah what an incredible evening look at this stunning spot here's the next set of shots now and then i'm going to go back up there to where we started from and i'll see what i get to finish off if we get some color in that sky amazing <laughs> Now that I'm finally back up to where I started, I'm back into more or less my original composition because I can get that sky, which is giving me a nice subtle bit of colour, but the sun is in that dark area there, so there is going to be very little more, I think. This is probably the peak of it, but nonetheless, what an incredible afternoon, evening I've had here with some fantastic uh, waves and a brilliant place to be able to take some photographs. What a fantastic subject, textures in the rocks, everything. Now, behind me as well here, as you can see, it's kind of dark and grey. And then out here, we've got rain, I think, as well that's coming. So, yeah, I think I'm better off calling it quits now and take the journey back up the janky road that I had to take to come down. Now, since I come back up as well, um, I put on my uh, 10 stop and you know I do like a long exposure and I said okay what's it going to look like and whilst I think it's okay some of the foam below is yellow in colour so it's kind of detracting from the image making it look dirty um, but I don't know look I'll give you a look here at the uh, long exposure and then I've taken a couple as well with the colour there as well at my quarter of a second so have a look at these now <laughs> Thank you very much as always for joining me i hope you enjoyed this location as much as i did if it's your first time on the channel please do hit the like button give me a comment hit the subscribe do the usual things to head help spread the channel far and wide and i hope i'm lucky enough for you to join me next week and in the meantime i'll see you on wednesday for behind the raw where i'll edit one of the images from this stunning stunning location so until the next time schlange full